hello guys welcome to another blender tutorial today we're going to be modeling a cup which of these cups should we model i think i prefer this so we're going to be modeling this cup so before we get started uh, you should get yourself a keyboard a keyboard with a number pad this keyboard right here doesn't have a number pad a number pad is usually to the right hand side one two three and so on also, you might want to get yourself a mouse because of this wheel, we're going to be using it from time to time. If you don't have any of this, don't panic, you are going to improvise. Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. So, <clears throat> You go launch a blender. I don't launch your blender. Remember, I tell you, say we go improvise if you don't know, get number pad and mouse. So, if you don't know, get number pad and mouse, what you could do for me be say after I don't launch your blender file, you go come to edit and edit, find preference. If you don't see preference, go to input and then. Here, emulate number pad. You go turn it on, and then emulate three button mouse. You have to turn it on so that you will see this check mark. Okay, and then it will save automatically, so you can you can quit this now. But since I have a number pad, I will not use emulate number pad. So this emulate number pad now will allow you to use the numbers aside from your number pad this number that you can see below your function button f1 f2 and above your uh, letters on your keyboard one two three you will be able to use these numbers instead of your keypad okay so i'll cancel this now and for the mouse wheel if some of you might have uh might be able to use two fingers on your mouse to scroll to zoom in and out if i place two fingers on my mouse now if i zoom out two fingers i'll scroll up to zoom out and then i'll scroll in to zoom in i'll scroll up and down to zoom in that is i'm using two fingers on my mouse if you use two fingers on your mouse and it's in order to work that means you have something to download which is uh syn synaptics touch part so you need this thing if you download them on your device then you go to mouse and then you set you, you after you, you you install this you go to mouse and then do some a little bit of settings and you, you are good to go so that is for those who don't have mouse and and number pad but if you do then you can continue with this tutorial without any problem if you have any question i have a whatsapp group chat that you can reach out to me so that is it let us begin our tutorial today i said we are going to start with modeling so you go let me change from layout to modeling so if you change out this one we change from solid view to uh, edit mode from solid mode to edit mode you can feel change them here or if you want by yourself but you don't need to do that you can the shortcut the alt key now tab if you press tab solid uh, and then edit mode object mode and then edit mode so i'll go to object mode because i don't need this key now i go delete them with x after i don't delete them i press shift a add circle and then i'll zoom in and then before i do anything i'll i'll, I'll change this vertex to 16 so that we don't have too much vertex i'll press enter when i'm done and then i'll press this arrow to hide that so i press tab to edit mode and then this is our edit mode this dot that you're seeing we call them vertex so here is vertex you can see it is written vertex select here is edges edges edge select and then here 
is is these are the three things we say we're gonna use to model anything we want model. So now we are on my, um, vertex because in our vertex we won't start with. So I'll press F to fill. You see that our circle has been filled. So I'll go to uh, front view and then I'll start extruding by pressing E. If I press E now, I'll press Z to lock in the Z axis. I'll move up. So if I move up now, the reason why I lock it is say if I move to the right or left, the uh, what I extruded no go no go move either ways. So it go move up and down. So I'll move a little bit and then to confirm where you want the thing to be. You go press left click to confirm. So after I don't press left click, you see, if I move this thing now, my uh, selection will be moved with them. So you go press E again to extrude. I go extrude this like five times to, to replicate and the height of the curve we will model. So if I press E now, if I don't press Z, you see, say, if I go up, let's say I press E, I don't press Z and I go up. If I move this way, you see the vertex is moving in the wrong direction way I don't like. And if I try to position it, it might be a little bit difficult. So I'm not going to need to stress myself. Which I go just do, we say I will press Z to lock up into Z axis. So anywhere where I move, if I move here or here, you know, go we'll follow. So we go to follow straight. And you will see, say, we we'll don't move to any direction where we don't want. So I go lock up. So I, I go lock up here. I go, I go confirm this one now with left click. So if I press left click, you see, see the cursor will change. You see the, the cursor don't change to plus from whatever it was before. So I go press extrude again. I go come move up. And then I'll try as much as possible to make it, you know, the, the distance to be the same size. So I go lock him. So now, since we don't emulate, okay, now you go emulate, press Shift and Alt. After you don't press and press left click, and then you go, you go use them. Um, after you go remove your mouse to pan. This is what we call pan. If you want pan, you press Shift, Alt. While holding the two, then you press left click. You hold all these three buttons, and then you move your mouse to pan. Okay, now so we don't extrude three times now. So I could press E again, and then I will extrude fourth time and then press E again and then extrude the last time so I think this is a desire uh, height that I want but I'm not too satisfied with this height so I'll probably you know increase the height so I'll press G to grab the selected uh, vertex I'll press Z to lock it in Z as it I'll move it up and then I'll position my cursor here, double click to select it, the vertex all around, press G, Z, and then move it up a little bit, and then I'll do the same thing to all these ones, just to increase the size of our cup, I mean the height of our cup. So now that the height has been increased, Let's go to the top view, and uh, this is the third view by pressing 7. Then you can change from vertex to face. Type don't change, sorry, go back to vertex and then go back to front view. Double click here to select the top vertex. Go to uh, top view, press E to extrude. But this time, before doing anything, you press left click to release your extrusion. So after you don't release them, you position your cursor to about where my cursor is then you press S and then you scale in a little bit we are trying to make the edge of the cup so if you do too much like this you know see the edge of the cup not the big like this so if you stay somewhere around it so after you don't reach the size where you want then you will press left click to confirm so if you press left click you go confirm okay make I press ctrl z now if I press ctrl z press S and then I scale if I press K, I won't show you what will happen if I press right click. If I press right click now, we will go back to where we did come from. So if I press left click and then we scale it down, and then I want 
it will make the thing stay where it did right now. Now let's click. If I want it to go back to where it did, where it was, now right click. So I will press left click because now here I want to make the thing be. So after I don't press left click now, I go come press Control R. Control R now to add loop codes. Loop codes. You go, you go position the loop code until you see this yellow thing round in the middle of this two vertices so you will press left click to confirm so we don't add a loop code in the middle with that so we could press we, go, we don't press on one then you could press on the second time to confirm so after i don't confirm now press one to go to the front view press g to grab that vertex press z to lock it in the z axis and then move it up a little bit okay if i don't move it up a little bit press left click to confirm and then let's check what we just did okay that is what we just did okay now press 7 to go back to the top, top view press somewhere here to select the inner vertices and then press 1 to go to the front view press z and then choose wireframe which is 4 so that we can see you can see it will be transparent so we're going to see through our mesh or object whatever you want to color so now we will begin to extrude downward to create the inner part of the core so i will press e now if i press e i will lock them in z axis so i will come extrude down i will leave it around here where the outer one there i will come press left click to the laser press e again and then z and then until i reach the bottom of the core but i will make sure say i know allow this one where i extrude downward i know allow him to touch the one way they down before because if you touch them it will cause problem so this is the fourth one and then lastly we go extrude down again by pressing e then we press a and then we know go allow me to touch it down remember i said i tell you to go left click to confirm again so this is the inner part of the cup. So if I press Z now and go to solid view and then I check inside our cup. You see say we don't create the inner part of the cup now. So I will press one again. So now I want to add edge loop cup to the bottom. So you will press Ctrl R. Remember as I tell you to add edge loop cup is Ctrl R. Before you do anything, before you press anything, you will see this uh, yellowish something so if you, you come here and then you left click after i don't left click the you go see say it could change you could see your vertices remember i tell you say this dot we call the vertices so you go feel move on now up or down before you confirm totally okay to confirm totally now you go try to bring them to about here you go very close to the lower vertices small and then you go press left click to confirm totally and then press ctrl hard again and then check here left click once the first time position your your um, loop cut to about there and then left click again to come to save our um, um work so that you know go lose them go come save the, the 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 file i mean your your work if you want to save now ctrl s which is the universal way of saving and your work you will see this and then you come down here and change the this thing so i will change them to cop underscore underscore training so make sure that dot blend is there if you remove the dot blend it may say you know go fit access some later if you see that red thing where i see now it means say there is uh, another file where you don't save as that same name but if you know they read, uh, or if you save them on top and like that, you go overwrite the previous one. You understand what I'm talking Okay, that's good. Okay, so you will continue from here now. So anytime you press Ctrl Z now, you could just save your work. You see I'm here, saved. Okay, so now you go continue from here. So now what we could do is save. Okay. So from here now, let's add, let's come to a uh, uh, modifier 
on the file properties here. So you see this panel. After you don't click on this panel, you will go to add modifier. If you enter add modifier now, find subdivision modifier. Click subdivision modifier, and then here, you see, you click this one so that we can edit it. You can modify it in edit mode. You click this one, and then you change your render here to three, and then change the viewport as well to three. So now, after we don't do that, we will come here, change this to face mode, and then go back, go to light view so that we will see where we want to select, and then select this. Uh, two uh, faces this one and this one here go back to front view this is where i want to begin to the extrude the undo of our object so i will press e the first time and then i'll left click to confirm and then i'll press e again and then i'll left click to confirm and then i'll press g if you mistakenly press another thing, just press Ctrl Z to go back to your previous selection and then I press G and then I'll begin to extrude this out. Just to make things right from the onset, select press 3 to side view and then select these two. And then I'll scale this down as well. Press S and then I'll drag it in to scale it down. Let's see what we have. Is this looking good? Okay, I think this is great. So now we press G to grab, take it up a little bit, and then rotate with R. And then press G again. I'm oh, sorry, press E to extrude. And then left click to drop G to grab and then position it exactly where you like. Uh, press Ctrl and then plus so that I can select this two and then I can do that. So I'll try to scale this down a bit. This particular one, let's change this to edges. And then scale this down with S. Let's see. Okay, this is not too big. I think here is a little big. So I'll select this two and then I'll scale it down. Okay, about there. So now let's continue our instruction. So now that we've resized, we don't resize our uh, and do now we will continue our extrusion. So I press out now. Let's rotate this since we will be coming down very soon. Let's rotate. If you rotate from here to if you press this place and then this white arrow, if it gives out to rotate. So I will press E to extrude. Uh, let's click, drop it, G to grab, and then start coming down. And then I will rotate this so that it will face down. So I will press E again to extrude, and like that we will draw one by one. Press G again, then come down, and then use this to rotate. Come again. Uh, you see, as I draw drawn, so on, so on. So you press E again to extrude. Left click to draw down, and then press G to grab, so that you can move on to anywhere you like. And then left click to confirm. Press E to extrude for the last time. You visit it. Left click, then press G, and then grab on, and then move it forward to so about there. And then left click to confirm that now where you want to make a day with that. So I will come, you know, rotate down the last time so that you face the curve a little bit. So let's change to X select. Let's add the indicator by pressing that. And then rotate, let's press that, rotate this, double click to select these edges round and then rotate, okay, I'll do the same thing, okay, 
just to make so that they make sure say everything have the same about the same size and hair so that one side don't go they too big than the other side with the grab. So if you have any question, if you ask in my group chat if anything not they clear to you. So I go scale this one down so that I don't go day too big than the other ones. So now that we don't reach this level now, I will begin to think of how I go I will connect this handle to this curve. So how I go do and say I will change the selection mode to face mode. If I change it to face mode now, I will select these two faces here where did this edge. So if you want to learn about like I do so, remember I said now alt and left click you will hold together and then you can use your mouse to you know scroll to roam about so if you press shift and then you click the circle one so press s and choose faces to delete the face so i don't delete the faces for that one so now we will do the same thing for here too we click these two faces but before we delete these two faces now i want to extrude down first if i extrude down i will press left click to drop to confirm say so make it drop our extrusion for where it did now what we will do now we say we will connect this handle with uh, this say way there so let's see okay let's change this to select these two faces go to side view scale it down to about the size of the handle and then left click to confirm Press S to delete the faces. Now that we've deleted the faces, we will think of how to create them. So now the trick now to come to vertex here, try to reach vertex, select this vertex, and then hold shift and select this vertex, press Alt M, and then say mark at last, and then do the same thing. Press A, then the one. Uh, that one and then control head and at last and then we do everything all around make sure that the vertex you are selecting they opposite the one the two vertex they, they face each other so now like that your work goes smooth if you know they know they face one another and it goes smooth so like that you connect everything as you see our uh, cup then they look uh, you see the color beautiful code. If I press one now, you see the code. So what I want to do say let's go press Z and then go to wireframe. If we can select this two, uh, I want to do this because I feel like it's too long. So I will press Z and then you know, press Z and then it downward remember if you are selecting the wrong uh, vertex it will distort your uh, work like say i don't select this one now and mistakenly i have selected another vertex here so if i click g and then i start to the you see say it they move something where i don't move this one where they, they move up and i don't want me to move up. so i press ctrl g and then to deselect this one now if you press c for circuit selection Hold Alt and then press on it to deselect it. So if you, if you know if you press C and then you won't add more selection to this one now, you just you know click anywhere where you want. But if you want to deselect them, you will hold Alt and then you click so to deselect. So I will press G now. This is the selection where I want, and I will move up in inward a little bit, and I will press left click to confirm about J. So. Uh, I think we don't model our cup finish with that. So this is our cup. I hope you enjoyed the, this tutorial. For our next lesson now, we will be add material to it. We think the material with the color and texture because you know you say cup, maybe if they get color now, we know they get color. So we will add color in our next tutorial. So remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share with friends, comment, like, etc. So if you have any question we will ask, I get good chat where you will fit ask questions and I will answer you directly. Alright.
thank you very much. See you in another tutorial, which we will do it in. We will add texture or color or paint to our cup. Bye bye.